All righty. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is CC and CC Reads. Hey, y'all. Let's see. This is episode 10, Genesis 10. We're talking about the family line or the ancestry of Noah and his sons and their families. And when I was looking at some of these names, I got to thinking hmm, about my own family line and how, but how far back I'm familiar like with family members and uh, doesn't go too far back. Actually, my parents, their parents, and to be quite honest, because I don't think many of them were alive when I was younger, at least not that I can really recall, that's about it. So I'm like, mm -mm, I got to do a little bit more research. I know other members of the family are more aware of it. And just as I can go to some family members and ask about a few generations back, I realized that there are some of y'all that may not really have a family line that you can go to or ask of because for whatever situation, um, in most cases out of your control, you just may not be aware of that line. However, before we get into all of that kind of good stuff, just know you are and you can be definitely part of a family line that goes on and on for generations into eternity. But we'll talk about that later. Okay? So let's get on over into episode 10, Genesis 10. Okay, we're reading from the Message Bible, the family tree of Noah's sons. Oh, yeah. And y'all, some of these names are going to be a little bit different. So just bear with me. Okay. This is the family tree of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. After the flood, they themselves had sons. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshesh, Tyrus. Okay. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Riphath, Togamah. Okay. The sons of Javan, Elishah, Tarshish, Kittim, Rodanim, the seafaring people. Hmm. Developed from these. Okay. Each in its own place by family, each with its own language. All right. So. Then there were the sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Seba, Havala, Sapta, Rama, Saptica. The sons of Rama, Sheba, Dedan. All right. So Cush also had Nimrod. He was the first great warrior on earth. Okay. He was a great hunter before God. There was a saying back in the day, okay, like Nimrod, a great hunter before God. His kingdom got its start with Babel, then Erich, Akkad, Kalna, and the country of Shinar. From there, he went up to Ashur and built Nineveh, Rehoboth Ur, Kala, and Resen between Nineveh and the great city of Kala. All right. Egypt was ancestor to the Ludum, the Anamim, the Labahim, the Naphtahim, the Pothrashim, the Caslahim, or the origin of the Philistines, okay, and the Catharim. Ooh, all right, people groups. Canaan had Sidon, his firstborn, Heth, the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Girgashites, the Hivites, the Archites, the Sinites, the Arvidites, the Zemorites, and the Hamathites. Hey, Hamathite! Later, the Canaanites spread out going from Sidon to Gera. 
as far south as Gaza, and then east all the way over to Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zeboim, and on to Lasha. These are the descendants of Ham by family, language, country, and nation. Shem, the older brother of Japheth, also had sons. Shem was ancestor to all the children of Eber. The sons of Shem, Elam, Asher, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram, Uz, Hul, Gether, Meshesh. Arphaxad had Sheila, and Sheila had Eber. Eber had two sons, Peleg, so named because in his days the human race divided, and Joktan. Joktan had Almadad, Sheleth, Ooh, Harzamabeth, Jera, Hadaram, Uzel, Dikla, Oba, Abimael, Sheba, Ophir, Havilar, and Jobab, all sons of Joktan. Their land goes from Mesha towards Sephar as far as the mountain ranges in the east. These are the descendants of Shem by family, language, country, and nation. So this is the family tree of the sons of Noah as they developed into nations. From them, nations developed all across the earth after the flood. Hmm, okay. That concludes this chapter, y'all. Okay. Back to my thoughts with respect to like the family tree and things of that nature. And sometimes that's just having really no control over what happened before you, your parents, or the situation that you were born into. Because a lot of times, in most cases, that is out of our control. But don't get stuck on that or don't stay stuck there. Because sometimes we can just get really caught up in our own heads as to who may or may not wanted us or who did or didn't want us, etc. But don't get stuck there, okay? Because when you accept Jesus as your Savior, we're all part of the genus, the Jesus genealogy, y'all. So you don't have a family line that extends or you may not even be aware of your family line. Just know that it's when you're part of Jesus's family that you have a family line that extends for generations and generations into eternity. Okay? So think about it, really. It's as simple as saying, Jesus, please come into my life. I make you my Lord and Savior. And you have an everlasting family. Okay? Y'all, thanks for listening. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or just want to say keep it going, CC, please email us at ccreads2023 at gmail.com. That's C E C E R E A D S 2023 at gmail.com. Okay? And know that I'm thinking about you. I'm praying for you and yours. And, oh, yeah, as well. Hey, happy Easter, y'all. Take care. Talk at you soon. Bye.